Running a news website that needs to be updated frequently can be quite time consuming. And honestly, who has time these days? What if we can find a copyright free website, scrape their data and automatically post it on our website? Way easier, right? If you have some SEO skills, maybe spice up the design a bit, you could maybe even monetize it and make money from it. With zero effort. Zero. Sounds good, right? Alright, what's up friends? My name is Rav. Welcome to today's video. Today I want to show you a little trick on how you can use something simple as web scraping and turn it into an actual useful product. So instead of useless data scraping into text files or data files or whatever, we're gonna scrape uh, website data, store it in our database and automatically serve it on our website. For this, we're gonna use two tools. The first one being Django, which will be for the actual website. And the second one being Scrappy, which will be for the scraping. Really the point of this video is to show you how easily you can combine some things and turn it into a useful product, which in this case will be a news website, which automatically scrapes web data from another source. All right, I'm gonna go over this quite fast. This is not a tutorial uh, with a deep explanation, but rather uh, a summary where I just uh, go over my thoughts on how I would uh, approach something like this in the help that it's useful. If you want a deep explanation, just uh, check the source files. Uh, I put them up on GitHub and the link is in the description. All right, so the first thing we do is create a virtual environment in Python and activate it. After that, we run a pip install Django, Scrappy and Scrappy Django item. All right, so we create a source folder and in that folder, we run uh, the command Django admin start project newsbot to create our project instance. All right, so then we go into this new directory and in there we create our Scrappy instance with Scrappy start project scraper. All right, next up is creating the app which will hold our database models. We can do that with the command manage.py start app articles. In there we create the article model which will hold the title, text, image and publish date. After that we will proceed to the views and urls.py and in there we create the homepage view and the article detail view. Alright so next up is our front end styling. I just used a quick template from internet but you can of course use whatever you want for that. I paste the HTML from our free template into our project and I'm using some Django template tags to loop over our database content. All right, next up is testing our app. So the first thing you do is manage.py migrate to create our initial database. And the next thing you do is manage.py run server to run our development server. And as you can see, it works. All right, and now onto the configuration of the scraper. The first thing we need to do is modify some stuff in settings.py so that it can uh, interact with our Django database. Then we create our Django item which will basically uh, turn our Scrappy model into a Django model. After that we modify our scraper pipeline so that our data gets saved. Alright and the last thing is writing our actual spider. Alright, so first we parse all the links of the article detail pages. Uh, I use XPath for that, which is an extremely powerful tool. We follow those links in our scraper and we get the actual data from the detail page itself, which we save it to the database by calling yield item. Alright, then everything is set up. All that's left is running our crawler and we do that with the command scrappy crawl wiki news. scraper is going. Isn't it beautiful? This is what you can do with code. All right, so let's give our website a refresh and check if it worked. And boom, there are our wiki news articles, nicely saved in our database and served on our website. What's next is really up to you. I mean, you could do anything with it. Maybe you can turn it into a news website which you will monetize to earn some ad revenue or whatever. There are infinite possibilities. 
that's up to you. All right, that was it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. It was really short and sweet, just showing you how easily you can leverage some tools and turn it into a useful product for yourself. So I hope it was useful for you. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, see you next week. Ciao.